Welcome back to Black Cat Crypto Club. Guys, we have a very political video to do today. Um, and I've been kind of drag dragging my feet on some of this information just because I feel like the political side of crypto has been hashed so much lately. Um, and definitely on my channel as well. But it's come to a point where we're at, at some news that, that definitely needs to rep be reported. So I'm going to kind of go over everything that's happened in the last two weeks or so and just kind of get into all of that. But before we get into all of that, guys, uh, it is a new month. So first of all, thank you to everyone who went over and helped out um, with Olive Branch Animal Sanctuary. But being a new month, we have a new sanctuary and new animals that we're trying to help out. So this is for them animal sanctuary. Um, and it's a nonprofit dedicated to being the forever home for countless rescued animals in Sweetwater, Tennessee. So um, you can see right here on their front page, you scroll down right here, they've got a PayPal where you can donate to them. Uh, it says, your support and contributions will enable us to provide our res residents with the care they need and deserve. Your generous donation will help us purchase, feed, build housing, and cover med medical expenses and much more. So. Good cause here, guys. You can see come some of the animals. They've also got a Patreon down here at the very bottom, as well as Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Uh, but let's just go over and meet the herd. So these are some of the animals they've got. They've got cows, uh, sheep, pigs, goats, chickens, turkeys, dogs, and of course, cats. Oh, yeah. They've got a black cat, guys. So <laughs> definitely go over and help these guys out. Uh, some some good, good cause. They've, I mean, these aren't just the only animals as well, guys. They've got a lot of birds, some geese. Um, and can you guys imagine how much it takes? I mean, pigs, pigs get to be up to like six to to 800 pounds and to feed and care for these guys is pretty costly not to mention cows guys they've got several cows some donkeys i mean they've got a lot on their plate to, to care for um so go over and help these guys out i will leave their uh the link to this home page uh, in the description of the video, just go over to their homepage and you can hit that donate now button or go over to their Patreon and help them out. Very much appreciated if you guys can do that. And they are a registered 501c nonprofit. So anything, again, guys, that you donate helps out with your taxes. So go over and help them out. Now, let's get into this whole business. So what happened, um, I think this was, this was about a week ago. Um, Trump made an appearance at a conference and, you know, in my previous video, he was asked at Mar-a-Lago, you know, what about crypto? You know, what are you gonna do? And he came out and said, you know, basically, I'm the pro-crypto candidate. If you're into crypto, you better vote for me. And since he said that, we saw Ethereum, you know, the SEC do a, a 180 and approve the Ethereum ETFs. And we saw a slew of Democrats vote pro-crypto on several bills. And so it was kind of seemingly... Uh, thought that maybe the Democrats were softening their stance on crypto. And we got that bill repealing the SAB 121 that went to the House. And I was kind of saying that I thought, you know, maybe 
maybe Biden doesn't veto this. He he vowed that he would veto it if it got to that point. Uh, but where Trump came out and pretty much made it a, a political thing, I thought maybe maybe Biden doesn't do that. But we saw Trump at this other conference uh, coming out even more in support of of crypto. So I want to jump over and show you a few clips from this conference. Now, listen, this is what he said about crypto. Listen to this. Will ensure that the future of crypto and the future of Bitcoin will be made in the USA, not driven overseas. I will support the right to self-custody to the nation's 50 million crypto holders. I say this with your vote. I will keep Elizabeth Warren and her goons away from your Bitcoin. And I will never allow the creation of a central bank digital currency. I will ensure that the future of crypto. Okay, so first of all, did you did you guys notice the backdrop there? This is the conference that he was at, the, the Libertarian National Conference. Um, so the reason that is important <laughs> is libertarians very much embrace cryptocurrency, um, amongst other things. Uh, but I've said in the past how Trump really knows how to talk to his, his audience. And guys, listen, I'm not pro pro Biden. I'm just saying Trump knows how to, uh, sway support in in his favor so i've been saying since he came out at this convert conference well guys just be careful who you're who you're going to support you know especially when they have not such a great track record of doing what they say you know trump and this is this is true with all politicians, guys, but Trump ran the first Trump presidency or Trump election. He ran initially before the primaries and almost any campaigning. What he said was, you know, I'm good, I'm rich, and I can pay for my entire campaign myself. So I don't have to take comp, uh, campaign contributions and be in the pocket of, of anybody, because I'm good and I'm rich. And that didn't happen. And then, you know, further into that campaign, he got onto this idea of immigration and building a wall. And what he said early on in the campaign was, listen, we're gonna build a wall and I'm gonna pay for the entire thing, because I'm rich. And I'm good. And that didn't happen. And then when that didn't happen, he said, well, okay, guys, I can't pay for it all myself. But you know who should pay for it? Mexico. And guess what? I'm going to make them pay for it. Because I'm powerful. And I'm rich. And I'm good. And that didn't happen. So, guys, just be careful you know, some of these things that Trump promises, I don't know that he has any conviction on following up, especially when he's pretty obviously talking his audience here. Um, another thing, I want to show you this other video that just kind of shows that, uh, you know, Ross Ulbrich um, is kind of related to crypto in a way. Um, but really, the libertarians really want to free Ross Ulbrich. He, if you don't know that entire story, you should really go back and, and kind of research that. Now, Ross probably did some bad things and needed to be put in jail, but it became a very political issue. Um, and they got out and uh, they they basically broke the law to get all the evidence, most of the evidence that they needed to convict this guy. 
which they denied him his due process. So when that happens, guys, that's an issue for everyone, not just criminals. That's an issue for everyone. And um, they really, where it became a pol political thing, they really set out to make an example of him. And they did. Um, for somebody who basically ran a website, he got life in prison, no parole, uh, which is just crazy. But let's just go over to this um, other clip, guys. Listen in to this. And if you vote for me on day one, I will commute the sentence of Ross Ulbricht to a sentence of time. You can see third. they have free Ross signs, guys. And if you vote for <laughs> like... me on day one, I so you, you you could just see like he knew what, who he was talking to you know he knew they had signs free ross so he knew who he was talking to um he went on in another clip saying that he was gonna appoint libertarians to his cabinet and pretty much just saying everything the libertarians needed to to hear and what's funny is they still boot him I will they still boot him off the stage <laughs> Which guys, whatever. If you're if you're into Trump, stick around. You're you're you know, like I said, I'm gonna probably be talking badly about whoever you like and want to uh, vote for. So um, stick around. Now, another reason I say be careful with Trump and his promises as far as crypto is. Guys, this is another clip of him in 2021 talking about Bitcoin. So listen into this. Uh, Bitcoin, I, I just seems like a scam. Uh, I was surprised. You know, with us, it was at 6,000 and uh, much lower. Uh, I don't like it because it's another currency competing against the dollar. Essentially, it's a currency competing against the dollar. I want the dollar to be the currency of the world. That's what I've always said. Uh, Bitcoin, I, it just seems like a scam. Okay. So three years ago, he was hard against it. It's a scam. He doesn't want it. It's competing with the dollar. And now all of a sudden, he wants to protect it. I. I don't know. I mean, people do get orange pilled and uh, and change their view. I mean, Larry Fink is a, a prime example of that. He came out and said it was used for nothing but for criminal things and money laundering. And now he's running the biggest Bitcoin ETF out there. So maybe maybe Trump really has flipped on this. Um, but it doesn't really matter, guys, because he's making headlines with this and he's already swaying people um, who who are single um, issue voters to his side. And it's not a trivial issue, guys, is this this is a issue that affects people's livelihoods and their wallets. So this is an issue that people oftentimes make a single issue voting matter. So this this is big news, um, and he is smart for doing this, I will say. Um, but we did see him come out very pro crypto, and then we saw, you know, like I said, we saw a bunch of Democrats kind of flip and and start voting pro crypto on these bills. And we also saw this from the Biden administration. Um, says uh, Biden campaign ramps up crypto industry outreach in surprising tone shift. So all of a sudden, Biden is reaching out to the crypto community, looking like he's gonna 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 make this thing a nonpartisan issue. You know, both sides are pro crypto. That's what it looked like was going to happen. Now, um, then this happened. And this, this was a catalyst that changed everything again. So tr uh, Donald Trump becomes the first U.S. president convicted of a crime. This happened uh, Thursday 
or no, just yesterday. Was it just yesterday? I don't know. This just happened. Anyways, guys, he was um, convicted of 34 uh, felony accounts, I believe. And this is all for that hush money. But he also has another um, trial coming up for the, the documents that he took from the classified documents that he took once he left presidency. So he's got that hanging over his head as well. Um, but all of a sudden, Donald Trump is a criminal. And then Biden goes, whew, I can let my hair down. And Biden vetoes the congressional disapproval of the SEC accounting bulletin on crypto assets. This was the SAB 121 uh, repeal that the Democrats voted, you know, nonpartisan on this and ended up sending it to him. And all signs pointed to him not vetoing it until we got the Trump conviction. So all of a sudden, Biden thinks he's got this thing in the bag, which I'm not so sure of. I think a lot of damage has been done just in the crypto community alone. Um, I see a lot of people that are are saying they're going to vote for him because he is the pro crypto candidate. And guys, the crypto community isn't a small demographic. That's 80 million people. And in the right states, that can definitely hand the presidency to Trump. And, you know, I've been saying for a while, guys, that Biden seems determined to be the first president that's going to lose an election to a, a convicted felon, rapist, sexual assault guy. You know, like <laughs> he's just every every turn he comes upon, he's just messing up so badly um, that it's almost. It's almost like he's trying to hand it off to him, in my opinion. I like, you know, now the the one thing that I think he thinks uh, the 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 administration thinks is going to work for them is that this conviction of Trump is going to make a lot of difference in how people vote, and I'm just not sure that happens. I think his following is die hard and you've got to give that to him and i don't think this is in the bag because of trump's um conviction at all and now with with biden flipping this way i i think this is another nail in biden's coffin to be honest um now, going back over, I'm going to go over to one tw tweet on this. This is James Safer. He's one of the Bloomberg ETF analysts. He says, the veto is in. I guess the 180 degree turn in Dem circles was more like a 90 degree turn. So there are uh, still some congressmen and senators that are voting pro-crypto, uh, but the administration seemingly has no no interest in in really supporting crypto so i don't know guys i <laughs> i'm like i've said before i'm not going to vote against your your favorite guy come november so you don't have to worry about me being against you uh but the way i see it if you're into crypto and you're worried about this, the the uh, the the option is clear. Unless you're going to vote for RFK, um, you know worm worm brain worm brain guy. I mean, you you can choose to either go with a guy that you know is against crypto. Or you can go with a guy that says he's not against crypto and take that chance. 
So if you're a single uh, issue voter, I think you go with taking your chance. Um, and I, I just, I can't believe Biden is so bold to, to go against this when it shouldn't be a partisan issue at all. Like this is for the people. I think both sides claim that they're for the people. And for them to go against this, I think is a huge mistake. I think it may be Biden's undoing. So anyways, guys, that is about the video today. Again, if you guys can go back over and visit for them sanctuary and donate a few dollars over to them. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.